Since joining Inter Miami in 2023, Messi is dominating the American competition, winning the club the last nine games in a row. But the MLS is ranked 15th in the world, so I want to know what would happen if we put Inter Miami into the number one league in the world, the Premier League. And as the Inter Miami squad touched safely down in England, they start to begin wondering what the hell they've got themselves into as they've gone from sunny and sandy shores to the miserable and cold weather of the UK. But as we sign as Inter Miami's new manager, we need to make sure the team feels at home as they enter this strange land of orange women and pound bakeries. We need to rename our stadium to what? something that's going to make the whole team feel welcome and included here. So we renamed it to Messi Park. That should do it. And we also put Messi in his signature right wing position. The rest of this team though, Jesus. Has anyone actually heard of any of these flipping players? So we should set Messi as the captain of the team and also the primary and all set pieces. Free kicks from 40 yards out, doesn't matter, Messi will be on. That. But we also needed to sign a player who linked up well with Messi when he was in his prime at Barcelona. And so we signed midfielder Sergio Busquets for a whopping £47 million. Pounds. Why Why have I just paid that much for Sergio Busquets? He's so old. He's going to be like a flipping slug on the field. And we made sure we were hard at work with the pre-season training, getting all the players in shape for the mountain that we had to climb. But the 14th of August has arrived and it is our first match day. We are going to be playing our best today because we all know how important it is to get to a running start as it can influence the rest of our entire season. But minutes before the game was about to start, we got a worrying message from my friend Foot Crunch. Check out the Ronaldo press conference right now. He's talking mad smack about Messi. Oh, we gotta check this out. Hold on. I think Inter or Miami are not good enough to be in the Premier League. I won three titles with Manchester United and I doubt Messi will even win one. I will always be the GOAT. Are you serious with this right now, Ronaldo? You're in the Saudi League and you're taunting us. But we don't want that smug has Ronaldo to be getting in our players' heads. So I reckon we've got to have a quick huddle with them first. Lads, I don't want anyone in this team, especially you, Messi, to listen what Ronaldo has to say. He's just jealous you're in the world's best league. Let's show him that we can be champions wherever we play football. But we had kicked off. We wanted to start this game with a goal and show everyone what we were about. <coughs> Except that didn't happen. Oh no, they're already in a box. This is not a brilliant opening first half. Right, we've got to get it over to famous number 10. He's not even number 10, actually. He's number 30 in this match. But nothing was going our way. We just kept facing shots from Burnley, a team that had just come up from the championship. And then this happens. Oh, my God. That's the second goal. This is only Burnley. What are we doing? And by the halftime whistle, we were 2-0 down. And Messi hadn't even got the chance to have a shot yet. But in the second half, we finally broke through the defence. And would this be our first goal? I think we're going to start the season with a sweaty goal. He's bloody Messi. I hate you, Inter Miami. You're the worst team in the world. If you didn't have Messi, no one would have heard of you. But luckily for us, that wasn't our only chance. Finish that. Get that in. Absolutely gorgeous. It might be the 62 minute, but we are pulling this back. I'm not losing this game to Burnley. And then a couple of minutes later, we got another one. And get a Messi. And get a Messi. <laughs> For the equaliser! What a sexy man! Come here, let me let me go go, 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 go! Okay, it's way too early in the video to be doing sus things like that. Let's let's calm it down, lads. But oh. would we be able to end this first game with a win? Two minutes to get the winner. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, we've done it! Our first winner of this game in extra at a time! I mean, huh? you know what I mean? And with that absolute brilliant turnaround for a first game, our hopes were high and we were looking forward to the rest of the season. But even though we just had an absolute smasher of a game, the media are already twisting our words. They're saying that we, a team managed by Hazard, is going to be scrapping just to stay out of relegation zone. What are you chatting, Brev? We're going to be scrapping for the top of the table, lads! I don't want to be scrambling about staying out of relegation. I want to be beating Man City, Man United, and we are going to win that title. But now it's time to face my team, Everton, and as bad as I feel saying it as an Evertonian, I feel like this is going to be an easy game. This is our first game playing at Messi Park, the entire stadium they had to build just for Messi. And of course, with it being his stadium, Messi really wanted to show off. That's actually beautiful. Guys, no. boom! Oh my god, I thought I went in. But in the 20th minute, we did open the scoring, and it wasn't Messi who did it. Mate, Martinez is actually doing wonders for this team right now. I might have to take back what I said about all the Inter Miami players being absolute dog shit. And besides, Martinez turned into an absolute melon in the second half. What are you doing? We did manage to absolutely obliterate Everton, leaving the game 4 0. But it seemed like our decision to sign Sergio Busquets hadn't gone down well with the rest of the players. I knew this would happen. As soon as I made the decision to bring in a good centre defensive midfield to link up with Messi, this Oreo kicks off at me. Like, mate, am I keeping you on the bench at least? Yes or no? 
Actually, no, I don't think I am. But whatever, I can't worry about that right now. We've got too much on our plates. Because next month, we've got to play Newcastle. And then literally the next week, we've got to play Man City. How do you, how do you think that's going to go? But as a positive right now, we do stand number two in the Premier League table. Only second to West Ham as they have played three games. We've only played two. But speaking of third game, it's time to play Wolverhampton. And to be honest, we had absolutely no problems battering Wolves into next week. And the same could be said for Bournemouth as we ripped them off. And we even managed to pull a narrow victory against Newcastle winning 4-3. Come on. Finish that! Ah, to go! To go, Jeff! But the day had come to face Manchester City, and everyone expected our win streak to stop. But would they be right to count us out so early, or were we going to prove them wrong? And within the first 15 minutes, we were facing problems. Don't, don't just let him take the ball off you, you absolute scrub melon! I knew something stupid. I was going to let it slip somehow. And then just before half time, Harlan was making us get emotional. <laughs> Our dreams are being snatched away from us in front of our eyes. Messi's had one touch of the ball. Lads, look, the only way that we're going to win is by working together as a team. And by as a team, I mean you have to pass the ball to Messi. It's the only way we're going to score. And with our constructive pep talk complete, it seemed the team were listening to what I had to say. As Messi finally got a good run in and set up a good chance for goal. Top corner. Oh, come on. Come on, lads. We can flip it out of this. But once again, the team got the ball over to Messi and he was on another solo run. Okay, up there, Messi. Oh my god, oh my god, he's just breezed past him and he's dribbled it into the bottom of the corner. Oh my goodness. The Man City were barking up at our end, but could we hold on till the final whistle? Do not. You it was in the grasp of our hands. We would have been throwing it in the bin. And with the final whistle being blown, signifying our defeat, we knew that we had to start taking this a lot more seriously. So we made sure we got back to the training ground and hit it hard with every player in our team. And if we look at the table, things are looking a bit topsy-turvy. And I don't know if that's just because Inter Miami have joined the Prem, but somehow Spurs are winning with 18 points. It's not, it's not every day you see that, is it? If I've got any Spurs fans in the audience, drink it in. Enjoy it while it's happening right now. But it looks like Liverpool and Chelsea are also going to be pretty big competitors in this competition as Chelsea actually just managed to beat Man City. But we actually played Chelsea in four games. So now I'm actually quite interested how are we going to fare against them. But first we had to face Fulham who we managed to get a narrow victory yes. against winning 1-0. And next we were to face one of the biggest competitors in this competition, Liverpool, who were only one point behind us on the table. And I definitely shouldn't have simulated the match. And it was not a good result for us at all as we'd lost 3-1, which means Liverpool are now ahead of us in the table. And just to add insult to insult, Injury, Ronaldo had sent a video message to our team. <laughs> you could not even be Liverpool. I had no problems just throwing them when I was king of the Premier League. I have no doubt you're going to fail this challenge now. Sui! To be fair to them. But this time, Messi wasn't going to stand for it and he had something to say back. Ronaldo, because you keep joking, I know that you are a scared. And I will be the one having the last laugh when I lift that Premier League trophy with my team. So just watch out, because I believe we can do it. So we will work hard, and we'll use the rest of these 30 games to push ourselves to the top of this Premier League table and show Ronaldo wrong. But to get there, we're going to need some help. And I always say have faith in the younger generation as we are going to our youth academy. And we are particularly interested in this Jackson Smith, as he is currently only 66 overall, but he has potential to be 94. I mean, that's, that's even better than Messi, if I do say so myself. And right now, unfortunately for him, his preferred position is centre forward and we already have the go up front so I'm sorry mate but you are being sent to the centre back of our team because I think he has potential to be a brick wall but it was going to take four weeks for him to switch position with his development plan so we would check back later in the season and so we played the next couple of games so we could progress and we managed to beat Brighton become victorious over Aston Villa and even go on to beat Chelsea with a very narrow victory which was actually giving us a lot of confidence <laughs> was that not in? and going back to Youth Academy we can see that Jackson Smith's development plan has been complete, he's now a centre back and he's now a 73 overall. So I reckon he's ready to be promoted to our senior squad. And there we go, we are going to get him in that centre back position. Look how much better he is than the current defender. Oh, get in there, lad. Also, following that win streak, we were now at the top of the Premier League table. And we were hoping that we were going to be able to keep it going with our young new defender. But following a one all draw with Sheffield United, we got an email with an opportunity of a lifetime. Oh my god, I just got my dream email. They're asking if I want to manage the Wales national team, mate. Be in front 
world. That's like my dream. But I've got to focus on building Messi's career in the Premier League. So I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to say no. I never thought I'd have to do that. But I'm sorry, lads. And we also got a text from our lead striker, Joseph Martinez, talking about his contract renewal, which I politely decided to ignore, which may or may not have come back to bite us in the arse later in the season. But for now, we carried on powering through. And we were going pretty sideways. We were winning a couple of games. We were also suffering a few L's. However, during our game against Brentford, our youth player finally got his first goal and it was a smasher. Oh my goodness gracious, that is a phenomenal goal from our youth player. What a debut goal to have. I appreciate you trying to impress me, man, but remember, this is Messi's show, all right? Don't be trying to one-up him here because he might get angry. We are 19 games in now, which means we are halfway through our season, but look at this. We've been having a stinker for these last couple of games. And we're not even in the top four anymore. We're now down to seven. Crash, I mean, we can even see where Everton are on the table from where we are right now. You can tell we're not doing good, but don't worry, my Argentinian Prince, with my guidance, I will guide you to the top of the Premier League. But this was still going to be ridiculously difficult, as being this far down the Premier League table this late into the season, getting back to the top becomes more and more impossible with each passing game. But it didn't help that we were still picking up some draws, and also only just scraping by against the worst teams on the table. And then we were struck with something crucially bad that happened. Why is Martinez leaving? Ah, oh, sh- I didn't negotiate a contract with him. Oh my god, have I just let him walk away for free? Our star striker. You what? Oh my god. For fuck's sake, man. No, this is oh, a loss. That is no, no, it's not a loss. It's not a loss. A loss. That is not, it isn't because. Well, you know, but check out who my scout has found as a replacement striker. Yeah. Rasmus Hoyland. Have you seen this man in the Euros? He scored some hefty goals. I reckon he's got bare potential. Let's get him in the transfer list. And so we signed Danish striker Rasmus Hoyland to play up front for our team for a whopping £20.9 million, which we. Didn't have. Oh, fuck. And let's get him straight into the starting 11 so that he's happy with his move. And it is a huge game for him to be making his debut because we are playing Man City today. And I don't know how he's going to link up with Messi, but let's find out. So we let him have the first shot of the game. First shot. Oh. And he's already injured. Oh, are you serious? After one shot. Well, that was a good 20 million spent, wasn't it? 100% waste. So Martinez took the wheel and steered us towards our first goal. Yes. I'm glad to see you're still here at the club. I don't know when you leave, but thank you for scoring a goal against Man City for us. But City were really pushing hard for their equaliser and in the second half they had a good chance. And Haaland's put it away against us. <laughs> Say. And in the 77th minute, it seemed like I was playing for the other team. I've just flipping crossed it in for Haaland. I've, I've just assisted Haaland. And for a moment, it seemed like we were going to lose to City again until this brilliant ball over the top from Messi. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, what a finish. We've got the leveler, but can we get a winner? That would be a real boost for this team's morale. It's the 90th minute. What am I going to do? Pass it back. Shoot. Oh, my God. In the extra. No, in added time. You know what I mean? But we did it. Yes. After a couple more matches, we have found ourselves back in the top yeah, four on this table, which is reassuring. But we have played 24. We only have 38 games to go. So can we get to the top in the next 14 games? And with the public reassured that we would be battling to be champions of the Prem, we set out to complete the final quarter of this season. So we played the next eight games and we were winning the majority of them and it seemed like a league title might be on the cards. And with only six games left, we are now second on the Premier League table, but we have the same amount of points as Man City. And the reason we are second is because we have 10 less goals. So to give Messi and all of Inter Miami the best chances of beating Man City, we're going to have to now focus on scoring as many goals as we can so that we have more than them by the time the season is over. And the whole team were really putting the effort in as this player I'd never even heard of before hit an absolute worldie. Oh! Oh my goodness! I don't even know who Man is, but I feel like I should after that goal. And after managing to bag a promising four goals in our match, how would our rivals done? Three goals for Man City, are you serious? And I thought our four was good, Jesus. To be fair, our next game is against Fulham. Come on, we can rack up at least four or five goals in that, surely. And we ended up scoring an unbelievable amount of goals. It turned out to be 7-0. That was starting to look like a bit of a Liverpool versus United game. Now that's a lot of damage! But oh my god, Man City must have drawn their last game. They've slipped up at the final hurdle because they are on 76 points and we are on 77, meaning we are now on track to win the Premier League as into Miami. We've got four matches left. We've just got to not mess it up. And thanks to Messi, we didn't as we got a narrow 1-0 victory against West Ham. But we were definitely not in the clear as we still had three games to go. And the likes of Liverpool stood between us and our title win. And in the first half, Liverpool had a free kick, but luckily the goalie got to it and kept us in it by the skin of our nutsacks. And Hoyland had an opportunity with the counter-attack. He's taking the whole field. Finish it. 
Nope. Oh, look at him go. What's occurring? What's occurring? It's Hoyland, the Danish prince, and he's blown away in the 80th minute. Thank you very much. I'll be having that, Liverpool. It's going on ultra deep. I don't care, lads. Now that we're ahead of Man City, I just I don't care about goals as much anymore. I just want to stay ahead. But even with our increased defence, we still almost fumbled it. Oh, my God. He's done absolutely amazing to get there. That is prime pie-facing goal. And we boot it away. There we go. Okay. Look at those pants. That, that is the manager of a winning team right there. And with now being four points ahead of Man City and only two games left in the season, if we got ourselves a win, it would guarantee Inter Miami to be champions of the Premier League. And it was only against Crystal Palace, so we were pretty confident we could do it. But unfortunately, we somehow managed to lose 2-1 and trip up right at the last hurdle. Oh my... Oh my god. Oh shit. But we can look at the table and see that we are still ahead by one measly little point. And what an arena and team to be playing in our final game. Manchester United at Old Trafford. And I'm hoping the result is going to make Man United fans like Mark Goldbridge very angry <laughs> men. What? are you doing here? Why is Harry Kane at United? Why is Kane at United? What has gone on? I must have missed that transfer news. Oh, that explains why Tottenham were near the top of the table in this season. That makes sense now. But even with the surprise signing, we knew we had to win this game to grab the title and we weren't going to let Ronaldo's former club stop us. But here we go. No messing about now, lads. Let's have your all, please. But unfortunately, it would not be us who opened the scoring as Harry Payne came along and bit us in the bum bum. What's my keeper doing? Why is he off the wrong side of the Oh my god! United, mate, what are you doing? Your rivals are literally about to win the Premier League if you beat me at this game. We both don't want City to win. It happens too often anyway. Let's just give Miami a chance, yeah? And I think they must have been listening to our begging because they gave us a chance. Oh my god, that's a run. That is a hell of a run. Go on, get past that defender. Sweaty goal. Finish that off. It's not messy, but we'll take it anyway. It is Hoyland. We love that. We'll have that. But then I think they must have snapped right back out of it. Flipping Harry Kane! He's done it again to Harry Kane! Just when I thought we were going to get back into this, Harry Kane, you... I hate you so much! So to undo Harry's Kane misery, we had to put this next on, one away. finish that. Oh my god! Thank you very much, Messi. But with time ticking away and less than 10 minutes left in the match, this would surely be our final opportunity to take the win. Messi. Messi's knackered, but he's got past the last defender. Ankara Messi, come on. Ankara Messi. Cut inside. Finish it. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> what a flipping skill goal. Oh, my God. Absolute glory run, Messi. What a way to put us ahead. Ankara Messi. Ankara Messi. <laughs> well, that's going to be it, please. Please, it's 93 a minute. And that's it! Into Miami have done it! Who'd have thought we'd see the day? Get out there, boy! Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed the journey of this video, then you'll love this one too, because it was just as emotional. Make sure you check it out now!